this video I'm going to show you some functionality of the OpenCV if you didn't install OpenCV on your Mac in the last video I show how to install and set up your code in order to use OpenCV library on Xcode or Visual Studio code and how to find the library and add it to your project and now I want to use some functionality of the OpenCV in our project you can see all the source code data and documentation in the website tzron.com Okay, here is our code, our setup in the Visual Studio. As I mentioned before, you need to configure your task, launch and C++ properties in order to use library of the OpenCV, header files and the lib. And here for the code. And in the launch, we can set these two parameters in order to run project in XML terminal or using debug mode, which run line by line. We go to this later. Okay, we have one image, I copy it to the same folder as our source code and we want to get all the information related to this image. This one is our image, we want to show and get the information. Okay, um, these are OpenCV function that we get all information about the OpenCV version and so on. Now we want to get information about Okay, here you can see the code and we go through one by line by line and explain in detail. First, I run the program. Okay. 
and in the this is histogram of the image and here information about the images and resize version of the image okay I started from here function imo, image info this function give you information about the image and the type of the image and the image type falls in this category for example, this one is equal to double, this one equal to float, and so on. And then the size of the image. For example, the size of the image is 1130, 1124, and the image is 3-channel, which means color. You see is a number of channel. If it has a grayscale or binary image, is one channel. And sometimes instead of C1, it's nothing, just 8U. And information and the histogram. The histogram is number of pixel of each color into, into a histogram. And in order to show, we need to draw a line in the image. Thanks for watching. I will teach you some other functionality of the OpenCV and how to write test function in OpenCV in the future videos.